Hi there, Marcus here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a workflow where you can take a video, upload the video, give a prompt how you want to create a web page and then get a web page from it. So you can think of it as optimizing, uh, you know, someone telling an editor that, hey, look at this video on YouTube and please write an article about it. So this we're going to optimize now. The video at question is uh, Drupal at the Web Summit 2023. So it's from the CEO of 1X Internet's uh, buddy Sonia Breidert, uh, where she exceptionally well talks about Drupal and why you should use Drupal. Um, as usual, this is open source, it's free. It's a module based on Drupal. That's why I chose the video. So that means after uh, I am finished showing the results here, I will show you how to set this up. All the code is free. You can have it set up directly afterwards. So I'm just going to go ahead now and click save. And this HTML field will then be filled out and it's going to show a web page. I will be uh, uh, clear here that I have actually saved the result from running this once. So it takes around 54 seconds uh, to generate uh, a web page from this then 18 minute long video just so you don't expect it to go this fast i just didn't want to have an awkward silence here uh, and this is what we have generated i'm just going to click edit so we can go through the prompt more exact here so first i'm gonna um, talk about how uh, it actually can generate images so there's Cut out between four to six images. Make sure that at least one image shows body. If you want to show PowerPoint slides, cut them out to only show the slide. So not only is it editorial, not only does it take screenshots of the actual video, it can also crop those screenshots. So if we look at the results here, it has generated four images. One of those images is of body. It's not perfect. I just kept it here so you will see it's not perfect. They couldn't understand that this is a PowerPoint slide probably because of the white frame. But in this case, and in this case, uh, I will just show you in the video wherever these buzzwords are. So if we follow here, you can see this is never shown full screen. So it has actually gone and cut out this. So it only shows it, uh, sh shows the slides from the PowerPoint and same in this case, right? It also also added, uh, image captions so this it does automatically if you don't prompt this up prompt it otherwise then write four parts starting with the h2 header uh, between two to four paragraphs use you know you can use strong and some other html so you can see here there's four sections one two three four with h2s uh, it's using you know strong to emphasize certain words open sustainable and universally accessible uh, and this also comes then from the prompt on how to write this. So write it as a copywriter that wants to sell it to ad agencies. Write a story about how great Drupal is and how well she explained it, right? Uh, I also add context because in this case, I think she says her full name, but if she wouldn't, I'm just writing here. The person on stage is Badi Sonia Breidert, uh, CEO of One X Internet. It's also important, so uh, OpenAI, or the a large language module model in this case can connect bod, body to the person on stage because I say later make sure at least one image show body uh, and without co context it wouldn't actually connect that though it would probably take the assumption that it is the person on stage uh, also provide one selling quote from body so there's a selling quote and it's even added it in a quote or pre-quote here so Drupal is either the pioneer in CMS using these buzzwords or have already integrated in within a weeks in our project. So if we just go to more show transcript and I'm going to search for pioneer is probably a good word. It's here, but it's probably almost at the end there. So I just play this. You're now. seeing every single day and I'm going to tell you something. Drupal is either the pioneer in CMS using these buzzwords and integrating those technology technologies that allow us to use this either it's a pioneer or we have already integrated it within weeks into our project and why is that so actually it didn't quote her word by word but i guess that's usually how an editor would do as well you know create a readable quote of um the gist of what she's trying to say 
I guess you could, this is also a prompting question. You could ask it to, you know, quarter word by word. Uh, lastly, but not least, I've said that it should, of course, give attribution. This doesn't change just because it's AI. If you, if you actually, you know, write an article about someone else's work, you have to give attribution. So please attribute this uh, video link and also, if possible, organically link to Drupal.org. And here it actually surprised me. So by default, when you click on an image, it links to a larger version of this image. But I think it did the connection to that, okay, this is the YouTube video. So when you click here, it should go to the YouTube video. So this is what it did instead. And if you don't want this, you have to, you know, further create a better prompt. And then in the end, it has naturally added it to the be part of this groundbreaking journey to uh, the call of action is clear, embrace Drupal. And this is then linking to Drupal.org. Um, so that's it. That's the results. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set this up by yourself using Drupal. So before I start with uh, showcasing on how to set up this, I just want to uh, show my website workflows of AI. So uh, it's on workflows dash off dash AI.com. You can see up here there, you can see all the different workflows that I have done together with the module, the AI interpolator. So the module AI interpolator is open source. It's free. All of the workflows you see here, you can basically do by yourself after you have seen it. It's a chaining tool for automation of AI running in the content management framework Drupal. So the advantage you can do here instead of, you know, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're, you know, you want to see new videos coming up, but here you can actually uh, uh, filter on all the different uh, plugins that exist for the AI interpolator. So you can see, uh, specific videos that you might be interested in, right? The AI interpolator is, uh, since a week, fully documented. That means that every rule that you can run, uh, so a rule is basically one part of the chain. So you can think of it like, uh, you know, you have something that scrapes a web page and then you maybe have another, uh, to, uh, another rule that uh, categorizes that web page. So that's a simple chaining rule. So the rule we're going to use today is open AI video to HTML. So it's very straightforward. There's just one rule. Um, but if you want to know more about it, you know, just Google the AI interpolator's documentation. I, uh, and there you can get a list of all the rules. I think we're up to 60, 65 rules now that you can do on different field types and so on. Um, for today, then we're going to use the AI interpolator open AI module. So that's one of the plugins to the AI interpolator that holds this rule. And we're going to need the token mod module in this case, because we, we want to basically have dynamic prompts. So if you, you know, in the showcase I did, this was about a very specific video, uh, uh about a body talking about Drupal. And of course this prompt then becomes specific to this video. Uh, so if you don't want a fully automatic workflow where you have some generic way of, you know, looking at videos where you can have a generic prompt, you need the token module as well. So we're just, um, well, I'm going to show you as well. What I have done is I'm running DDEV in this, uh, showcase, but you know, you can run Doxal, Lando, whatever you want for local development. What's important though, this will not work without FFmpeg. And I know this is a showstopper for people that does manage hosting because they will never install FFmpeg. But if you want this to work, there is no other way around it because we're analyzing video. We're having FFmpeg actually looking at the video basically, and also doing all the uh, different extractions from the video and so on. So if you're using DDEV, it's just in the config, there is this uh, web image extra packages. You can just add FFmpeg, restart DDEV, and that's it. The other thing I just added here is by the time you see this video, it might not be true anymore. But right now, if you look at the AI interpolator, it's in beta mode, which means that we have to set a uh, general minimum stability to dev basically. So, uh, the thing we just need to do now is we just need to basically, uh, copy the composer command, uh, 
and do ddev and the composer command and then it's gonna fetch this code so this is a package manager for PHP for you who don't work with PHP uh, on the regular. And then we're just gonna go ahead and do the same with the token module. And oh, right. So what I just said, I have to prefix with ddev. I forgot myself. So we prefix this and you also see that it actually downloads this. Oh, by the way, I have installed admin toolbar beforehand because otherwise it just becomes unmanageable to use the website. The next step is just to log in uh, and enable this module. So I just click extend uh, and what I need to uh, extend then is the AI uh, install, sorry, uh, AI interpolator, open AI and the token module are the two that we need. And this is gonna install the OpenAI module then. And the OpenAI module will uh, complain that we need to add the OpenAI key. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that here. This is, to be honest, not how you should be doing it, putting it in uh, completely like this because that would be exported like config. You should rather put it in settings.php, but for all purposes when you're trying this locally, this is good enough. So I'm just doing a HTML key here, a temporarily temporary key that I will remove after I've done this video. So you can't copy and use it. And then you can just click here or you can go to configuration, open AI settings, paste it in, save. And if you reload, the error message is gone. And we have set up open AI. Uh, so the next step that we want to do is to uh, do a structure content type. I'm just gonna create a new uh, content type here I call video to HTML because I'm using content types and that makes sense in this case we're doing web pages uh, there's a lot of extra fields that comes with the CMS part of Drupal right so we just disable this and remove some stuff that I usually do so no menu save and we want to add fields uh, we can't use the normal body field. I haven't done a rule yet for the text formatted long with summary. So there is only for text formatted long. But the first thing we want to add is the things that we base this on. And that's then file upload, file. And that's this is then the video source. So this is the video we upload, right? We just take one and we say MP4s are allowed, but in, in theory, you can do anything that FFmpeg can handle, which is basically every video format in the world. So you can do whatever you want there, but we just set MP4 in this case, create another field that is then a text plane, text plane long, which is, we call the prompt to generate HTML. So that's the prompt we're gonna use to uh, generate uh, the HTML, right? Uh, we just, well, sorry, we should require this, of course, and we should have required the video source as well, because without, if you don't fill out these two fields, nothing is going to happen, right? And then in the end, we want to generate the HTML uh, field, right? And this is what is the actual website. So this is a text formatted long, uh, I'm just going to call it uh, full page HTML in this case. Continue, and this is where the magic happens with AI interpolator then. Uh, so this is also just gonna be limited to one. We're gonna allow full HTML because we want to allow a lot of tags. So if you don't know Drupal, these are basically filters for, for what is allowed. So you can read more about text formats Drupal if you don't know it. Enable AI interpolator. So this is where the magic happens. So here are all the rules depending on what we have installed. And there is one then called OpenAI video to HTML. We're gonna enable this. We're gonna run this in base mode. There is no other choice in this case. And we have to give a base field. So this is basically where is the video located? And that is in the field video source. And then we're gonna add the generating prompt. But since we want it dynamic in this case, we don't want one prompt that will run on every instance of the video we upload. We're gonna use the token module. So we're just gonna paste the field that we created that was prompt to generate HTML. And this you can just click as long as the text area is focused and then it's added here. So this will basically replace that prompt with whatever prompt we write, right? 
then in advanced settings i would suggest that you run this on the q cron job because generating these videos can take so long time and if if you either have a net and uh, you know web server timeout on nginx or apache or a php timeout this might actually time out before it's generated and you just get an error so unless you can set a longer timeout i would set that you do this on qcron make sure that you have a cron job that runs uh, well often every minute would be the best and then it happens on this cron job where it's allowed to take long time and this this is a queue worker by the way so it's not gonna stop the cron job just because it's running a long time and you can also use the drush queue command to run this then but in our case i so i can visualize it well i'm not actually gonna run it now uh, you have already seen it by the time i have run it right so uh, in this case i will just set direct there uh, I will just do some uh, fixing of the forms that we show up because there's a lot of stuff that's connected to Drupal CMS that I don't just want to show you. And then of course on the display you don't actually want to see the video, you don't want to see the prompt to generate the HTML, you just want to see the HTML and we don't want a label on it. So it shouldn't say full page HTML over it. And we are done it's not more complex than this so what you can do now is go ahead and do a video to html write a title write a source write how to uh, generate the html click save and wait and that is uh, talking about costs by the way you can uh, assume one to two cents per minute of video so this uses a pretty uh, budget saving way of doing the, this because uh, if you look into OpenAI you might actually notice that video doesn't exist as a multi uh, multimodal context yet I'm, I'm guessing it's coming soon but it doesn't exist so how this works in the background for you who are interested uh, and this by the way I can also mention this is open source the code is there so if someone wants to build a product around this feel free uh, be nice and give attribution to me, but feel free to do it. Uh, I don't have any commercial interest in this. I love open source. So uh, anyway, how it works is that it uh, looks for scene cuts or keyframes. So uh, yeah, read up on video if you want to know what that is. But basically it takes the most important snippets uh, out of the videos as images. Put this in a grid of nine uh, images per image put timestamps on this, then it uses Whisper API to uh, get a transcript of what's being said and when it's being said. And then you can connect this via image to the audio and that way create a prompt where you feed it the images and the transcript and your prompt and an overlying prompt. That's part of the module if you look into the source code uh, that gives back a HTML. And that's how it works in the end basically. So uh, it is fairly complex if you haven't worked with AI before, but you don't have to set it up if you work with Drupal. Just get the module and it does it for you. So thank you for watching and see you soon if you like these videos. And please subscribe if you like the videos. That's what the YouTubers always says. Thank you.